story of the House of Commons today, uh, one or two very interesting occurrences. Yeah, indeed. Quite extraordinary. I've been to PMQs for years and years and years. Uh, I've lost count of how many have been there. And I've seen rounds of applause before. Uh, we've seen MPs get quite emotional uh, before. But today was quite extraordinary in some regards. Here we go and see the images of you know, just everyone on the feet, but also looking upwards. And they were looking upwards at the Ukrainian ambassador yep. to the UK who was in the gallery. Uh, and clearly for a lot of MPs, there is a lot of emotion wrapped up in this. But also there is a real sense of solidarity and there's a hope that images like this mm. will actually go right around the world. Now, MPs are not meant to be on their feet. They're not meant to be clapping in Parliament. It's very unparliamentary, uh, though the Speaker did say he would let this one uh, go. Uh, but in the end, I think most of the MPs um, reacted to the moment, but they wanted to send that signal. They want people in Ukraine and elsewhere to see that image of parliamentarians essentially saying, Ukraine, we've got your back. Mm. Well, I was in the European Parliament for almost 21 years and every day we applauded people in the gallery. So once you set the precedent, uh, the speaker is going to have to clamp down pretty hard next time. But more seriously, Sir Keir Starmer's attack um, over sanctions. And I mean, let's remember, you know, Russian interest rates have gone from 10 to 20 percent. The rubles collapsed. I mean, and we're going to go to Moscow to get a report on the level of economic collapse. But Sir Keir Starmer, Labour leader, asking for more. Yeah, I think it's always in some ways quite difficult because clearly there is unity, isn't there, across the House to a large degree in all of this. Uh, though it must be said, and it's not just Labour, but the SNP and certain Conservative MPs feel that the government should be going further. Against individuals. And this is specifically against individuals um, at the moment. They fear that there are certain people who've been sanctioned by the US and the EU that Britain has yet to do so. And to be fair, Keir Starmer's probing and asking questions, why not? Now, the Prime Minister, very deliberately, swerved away from that, saying he's not going to get involved in naming individuals, the whole sorts of legal ramifications mm. and the sort. But let's